Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the units of the pointing vector. The pointing vector is an equation or a vector that describes how electromagnetic radiation moves through space. And it can be defined as being 1 over mu sub naught, which is the permeability of free space, times the cross product between the electric field and the magnetic field. We can then say that the average pointing vector value is equal to 1 over 2 mu sub naught times the, the magnitude of the electric field times the magnitude of the magnetic field. And what that is, is that it's equal to the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation per unit area. For example, when you think about the intensity of sunlight, you can define it as this. So do the units work out? Well, the units for intensity per unit area would be watts per square meter. Which means that this should have units of watts per square meter. Well, let's go find out. If we want to calculate the units, first of all, we have 1 over mu sub naught, the permeability of free space, and that has units of newtons per amp squared. But since it's in the denominator, we'll simply flip that around and we'll write as amp squared per newtons. So that becomes amps squared per newtons for the inverse of the permeability of free space, the units. The unit for the electric field. Well, we're looking at this, of course. The unit for electric field would be newtons per coulomb. And the units for a magnetic field, that's equal to teslas, and a tesla is defined as a newtons per amp times meter. And somehow that should converge to watts per square meter. Let's find out. We have a newton here and a newton there that cancels. We have one amp here and an amp there that cancels as well. But what we have left, an amp can be converted to coulomb per second. So let's go ahead and do that. This can be written as coulomb per second. Here we have one over coulomb. And here we have a newton per meter left. Oop, it's not a very good looking M. There we go. Now the coulombs cancel out. Now we have newton per second times meter. And somehow we have to get watts out of there, watts per square meter. Uh, let's see here. What if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by an m? So we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by an m. Now in the numerator we have a newton meter, which is a joule. We have a second in the denominator and a meter squared. So newton meter is a joule divided by second times meter squared, and of course a joule per second, that is a watt. So this does indeed converge to watts per square meter, which means that the units of the magnitude of the pointing vector does indeed give you watts per square meter, which indicates it references or refers to the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation per unit area. And that's how it's done. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're good.